seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them return to the Lord, and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. And together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome to the service this morning. This is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Oh, come, let us worship. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands, and serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. O come, let us worship. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. As we work together with Christ, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time, I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation, I have helped you. See. Now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault might be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We, we are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and see we are alive, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing everything. We have spoken frankly to you, Corinthians. Our heart is wide open to you. There is no restriction in our affections, but only in yours. In return, I speak as to children, open your hearts also. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. This morning's psalm is from Psalm 9. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. 
Those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim to the peoples the things he has done. The vendor of blood will remember them. He will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me, O you who lift me up from the gate of death, so that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug, and in the snare they set is their own foot caught. The Lord is known by his acts of justice the wicked are trapped in the works of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave and also all the peoples that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord, let not the ungodly have the upper hand. Let them be judged before you. Put fear upon them, O Lord, let the ungodly know they are but mortal. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On that day when evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of Christ. letter to the Corinthians, um, it's uh, the second letter to the Corinthians, you may notice, and it's not that just Paul really loved to write letters, it's like he, he, he wrote them one, and uh, uh, apparently it didn't have the desired effect. Um, There's no restriction in, in our aff affections, he writes, but only in yours. I return. I speak as to children, open wide your hearts also. So even the, uh, even, even the fabled Corinthians got a little uh, what for from time to time. This week, um, you're also aware that the regulations have changed again regarding COVID-19. Um, we are now allowed to have 10 people in here at this informal gathering. So um, uh, the phone lines will be burning up this week as we uh, contact <coughs> contact people who have, uh, you know, read in the past or done prayers in the past, or um, hopefully uh, some more people who would like to be uh, involved in this ongoing ministry of St. Andrews. Also, the... Um, the uh, the regulations about live worship have changed, and they're and they're going to change again in a while. This is this is an intermediate step, but as as of uh, this week, we can have twenty five percent of our fire marshal mandated uh, attendance maximum uh, in the church worshiping, uh, masked and. Uh, uh, adhering to uh, COVID seating protocols. Um, your worship committee is meeting after this after this uh, recording session, 
today, and we're going to try and figure out exactly what that means. Uh, the last time we were allowed to gather, it was 50%. Um, when, you, when you figure in um, the size of the church, uh, the seating, this, this may not actually have much of an effect on the numbers that we can have worship. But we'll, we'll certainly get that information out as soon as possible and uh, see what we can do to resume uh, some face-to-face um, -face worship. And we will, uh, we will continue to uh, provide on online service for those who uh, cannot make it. Our affirmation of faith it's um, it's, it's uh, from the Hebrew tradition. It's called the Shema, uh, also known as the Hero Israel. Um, we're familiar to it in our Anglican, Anglican summary of the law, uh, which we heard uh, constantly, either in uh, you know, the Eucharist or uh, often in the morning prayer. In evening prayer, instead of saying all, all of the uh, all of the commandments, so let's uh, say this, and we say together, "Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength." This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it: love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Our offertory prayer together. Eternal God, 
You have made our Savior, Jesus Christ, the head of all creation. Receive all we offer you this day and renew us in his risen life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. As brothers and sisters of Christ, let us do the will of God by interceding in a spirit of faith for the needs of all, for this holy gathering and for the people of God in every place. Lord, have mercy. For all nations, peoples, tribes, clans, and families, Lord, have mercy. For all that is good and bountiful for the world, Lord, have mercy. For all those in danger and need, the sick and the suffering, the hungry and the oppressed, travelers and prisoners, Lord, have mercy. For the dying and the dead, Lord, have mercy. For ourselves, our families, and those we love, for May, for Lisa, for Jillian and Kathy, for Gloria Jean and family, for the family of Max Nunez, Bill Castell, and Bill Daisley. And any names you may add now aloud or in the silence of your hearts. For those we have forgotten, for those known to God alone, Lord, have mercy. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Paul's, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Reverend Cannon, Dr. Fall, Paul Friesen and Janet, Reverend Cannon Gordon Redden, Honorary Assistant and Mary Lou, Reverend Neil Bennett, Honorary Assistant and Sharon, Reverend Deborah Burleson, Honorary Assistant and Chris, Reverend Michael Tutin, Associate Parish Priest, Continuing in our diocesan cycle of prayer, Trinity, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Reverend Benjamin Lee, priest in charge, and Andrea. Emmanuel Spryfield, Nova Scotia, Reverend Michelle Bull and Charles. St. Peter's Birch Cove, Nova Scotia, Reverend Tori Byrne, priest in charge. In this time of national mourning, may we listen and learn, repent and pray. May we work for the good of all our relations, recognizing that we are all one body serving the one whose own body was wounded for the redemption of the world. As we walk in his footsteps, may we share his dream for a new and reconciled creation, one with God our creator, one with each other as sisters and brothers, siblings and relatives, and one with the whole earth. May the creator guide you and sustain you along the way. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us say the colic of the day. Almighty God, without you, we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us share the litany. God, you restore us. May your people be true and faithful servants of Christ. Source of life, hear our prayer. Bring those who are drawing near to the light of faith to, be true knowledge, to the true knowledge of you. Source of life, hear our prayer. Give our families and friends joy and satisfaction in all that they do. Source of life, hear our prayer. Comfort and sustain those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, ignored. Source of life, hear our prayers. Help us to contribute to the true growth and well-being of our country. Source of life, hear our prayers. Empower the whole human family to live together in justice and peace. Source of life, hear our prayer. Amen. 
and the colic. Creator God, from you every family in heaven and earth takes its name. You have rooted and grounded us in your co covenant love and empowered us by your spirit to speak the truth in love and to walk in your way towards justice and wholeness. Mercifully grant that your people journeying together in partnership may be strengthened and guided to help one another to grow in the full stature of Christ, who is our light and our life. Amen. Amen. And as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, may we who have gathered together to worship you with psalms and prayers, music and words of scripture, now go forth to worship you in all we do and always proclaim the glory of your majesty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A message from our, private, from our primate, Archbishop Linda Nichols. Please keep Archbishop Mark McDonald and the Indigenous leaders, bishops, ACIP, Don Maracle, and the suicide prevention workers, and all Indigenous clergy, all in your prayers. They are bearing the burden of the pain felt by so many in the reopening of the wounds of residential schools. With the death of Indigenous Ministries Coordinator, Canon Ginny Doctor, and Reconciliation Animator, Melanie Delva on leave, the leaders are under significant stress. A message from our diocesan bishop, Bishop Sandra. Thank you for your continued prayers and concern for our indigenous brothers and sisters, siblings and relatives, and your desire for action. We will continue to reach out to indigenous leaders to ask how we may further the work of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island and walk with them in peace and friendship. Happy Father's Day to all fathers and all those who support and offer love in their role as a father figure. This is the weekend for the Indigenous Day of Prayer and cultural celebrations on the 21st. And yesterday was Juneteenth, a day of celebration and recognition of the end of slavery. Summer gift jars and envelopes are due the second Sunday in September. Sounds so far off, but it'll be here before we know it. And we are mindful that our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren are still in school, and we pray for their safety and health, and may there be no additional coronavirus infections in their schools. Thank you for continuing to honor your weekly commitment to our church, the Food Bank, and the Primate World Relief and Development Fund. Thank you to all who have made this service possible. In particular, thanks to Reverend Robert, to Edward, and Marianne, and a special thank you to all of you for joining us virtually. With the province's reopening phases, we should soon be able to return to in-person in -person worship. Stay tuned. If you have any announcements, please leave a message for us on the office telephone, 902-435-2987, 902-435-2987. Send us anywhere you would have us go, only go there with us. Place upon us any burden you desire. Only stand by us to sustain us. Break any tie that binds us. 
accept the tie that binds us to you. In the blessing of God, the creator who made and knows us, the savior who redeems and befriends us, and the spirit who enlightens and sustains us be with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Our morning worship has now ended and now may our service begin. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. God. Thanks.